Hey BC, how's it going? Matt here, back with another Vinyl Finds update. Gonna be a really quick one, I've got about 10 minutes to spare, so I'm gonna try to keep it in under that time limit. Fingers crossed anyway, I know I tend to get a little rambly, and I'm doing it right now. So, um, one more thing too, real quick, we're gonna, well, two more things actually. One, we're gonna shoot a rec run video tonight, so hopefully we'll have another one posted next Thursday, so keep an eye out for that next week. Some some cool stuff coming up, especially in a couple weeks. We had a record show two, three weeks ago and found some killer, killer stuff. Um, second thing, I know a lot of you have messaged me or commented and said, hey, if you get a chance, check out this video, I found some really cool stuff, or if you get a chance, leave a comment and things like that. I will be able to, hopefully in two to three weeks, if things go according to how I have it all planned out, should be caught up with work, done with video stuff from my summer gig, and caught up with other work stuff. So I, I'm out there lurking. I do try to watch as many as I can and things like that. Uh, I just don't always have a chance to comment. So fingers crossed in two to three weeks, you'll start to have an onslaught of comments on me catching up on past videos and things like that. So just wanted to thank everybody for leaving comments on my videos and, and our record run videos and the favor will be returned soon for sure. Um, got a couple online pickups here. I've had some good luck recently finding some rare 45s um, in thrift stores and estate sales and things like that. And I sold one a couple weeks ago, and by a couple weeks it's probably been about six to eight weeks now, um, for 400 bucks. Yeah, I know, it was pretty awesome. So um, I did some online shopping, picked up a couple new albums and a couple other uh, stuff that I wanted to get, and then I saved the rest for the record show. And then I put some more back in the bank. I didn't spend it all. I'm not. I'm not made of money, so some of that did get put away in my savings account. But uh, so this is kind of what that stack is from my first sort of spending spree. A little bit didn't go overboard or go crazy, but picked up some things I've been wanting for a while. Uh, with the exception of this first one, this was actually a pre-order from a few months ago. It just came in a couple weeks ago. This is Morgan Delt Phase Zero, Neo Psych. I really, really liked Morgan Delt's debut album. This one didn't quite click for me like that one did. This is a little bit more electronic based, dream poppy, has kind of a cool summer vibe to it, which is nice. It's just not what I was expecting it to be based off of his first album. Um, still like it, it's still enjoyable. It's just not, it's not as psychedelic as I was hoping for. It's a little more dream poppy, uh, but I still do like that stuff. So uh, this was the pre-order on red vinyl there. Came with a patch and a sticker and download code and all that fun stuff. Um, not a bad pickup. If, if you like this first album, check this out. It may not be your flavor, uh, but it's still, it's still worth checking out for sure. And then I picked up two albums by the same artist. Uh, the group is called The Monophonics. My friend Brian out on the East Coast kind of turned me on to these guys. This album is In Your Brain. They do a cover of Bang Bang on here that is just amazing. It's so good. It's, seriously, if you don't know these guys, check that track out. You'll want to buy the album immediately. This is a double album. It's just not a gatefold pressing. It's on clear gold or clear yellow vinyl. Uh, I just, yeah, when I heard that track, Bang Bang, I had to check out the rest of their stuff and fell in love. This is so good. Funk, influence, psychedelia, uh, nice soulful kind of vibe on a lot of tracks. Really heavy on the funk though, with some cool, like I said, psych elements going on. So, so good. Bang Bang is the standout on here. Um, I really like Foolish Love as well, and there's a riot going on. Oh man, those tracks smoke. And then this is their second album, Sound of Sinning. Came out in 2015. This one is a gatefold. I'll show you there. Lion Eyes and uh, Promises on side one. Man, so good. On kind of a cool orange and red splatter vinyl. Cool colored stuff there. I, I don't know. I, I'm a sucker for the colored vinyl and new stuff. This is really, really good. Check these guys out if you're not familiar. Great, great new group. One of my favorites right now. All right, on to the 60s stuff. This first one, this was uh, kind of a, a flyer on eBay. I didn't really know anything about these guys. This is the Inner Dialogue self-titled album. It was four bucks with $4 shipping on eBay. I looked it up on Discogs real quick, saw it was kind of a deal. So when I had popped on it, wasn't in love with this. Um, it's more folky, more pop than I was expecting it to be. It tends to get described online a lot as, you know, psychedelic. I need to quit looking at, at descriptors like that because everybody tries to sell stuff as psychedelic. Um, enjoyable for what it is though, it's kind of a, a light, airy, laid back, folk pop, folk psych-ish album. I guess the laid back feel gives it sort of a psychedelic tinge to it, and it is a really nice, like I said, floaty, laid back, kind of an airy album. Um, oh, Dr. Man, 
and I want to say little bits of paper and then the title track, Inner Dialogue, is pretty good too. Those are probably the three best tracks. I just got around to listening to it this week. I've had it for about six weeks now, so shame on me. But pretty good. Not good, not great. This one was a big want for me, and I'm glad to check this one off the list. This is the Fallen Angels, self-titled. A really, really nice, clean copy. Crisp edges, you know, what we record collectors like to geek out on. Nice, clean vinyl there on that roulette label. This is good. This is really, really good. This was, I think, 20 bucks sh uh, shipped, so a pretty good deal on this one as well. Their second album is the one to really seek out and, and check out, but it's way out of my price range, um, even with big 45 sales like what I've had. Um, just wasn't willing to pony up for that, but I can spend 20 bucks on one. Really, really good stuff. Painted Bird is probably the standout on the whole album. Room at the Top is pretty good as well. Um, what's the other one? There's another one. I don't remember. Introspective Looking Glass, maybe? It's all good, though. Nice, deep, trippy stuff, but again, kind of a laid-back, almost a folk rock feel to a couple of tracks. Just outstanding. The, the, like I said, the second album, check that one out if you're not into it. In, uh, if you don't know these guys, there we go, I'll spit it out. But uh, overall, this first album is a really, really solid debut from uh, kind of an underrated psychedelic band of the 60s. Cool, cool stuff there. And then my pony up. This is what I, I kind of saved up for. Knew I had the record show coming up, so I socked away a, a good amount of money for that. And then I was like, I'm gonna do one big purchase. So Sam, the old psych professor, sent me a text. I was like, hey, on Discogs, they've got a copy of this VG VG. I think you should pop on it. I waited about a week, kind of molded over. I was like, do I want to spend the money on it? I, I think I do, so I popped on it. Paid 60 bucks for this. It's the, officially the most I've ever paid for an album by about double. For an original copy of the Zombies Odyssey and Oracle. I had a, a second pressing, you know, like a 1969 issue with the second cover where it's just kind of zoomed in on this and it's kind of a black frame. I got that copy for 10 bucks, which was a steal, and I passed that copy along to the psych professor and picked this one up. Like I said, 60 bucks. The cover, again, described as VG. I would say it's more VG minus, there's some edge wear and things, but the vinyl, oh, it's so nice. It's a very, very solid VG, closer to VG plus. And, and the, the cover art, it, it pops on the front, so it's still nice and crisp there. Uh, this was, it's one of my top five favorite albums of all time. And I've wanted an original cover since I started collecting, and I've never seen one in person. I've only come across them online and usually way overpriced you know usually way out of my price range and so for 60 bucks total it was 55 bucks with five dollars shipping so sixty dollars i thought i i've got to go ahead and pop on it when i've got the money and i've got the opportunity because i don't know if i'm going to come across another copy in that condition for, for that amount of money you know so pretty happy with it no regrets at all Happy to pass along my other copy to Sam. I know he was happy with it. So, and that's just that's an overall upgrade copy for me too. The disc is in better shape. The cover's in a little bit better shape. So, really, really pleased with that. And uh, kind of teased the record show. I we saved some money up for that. If you follow the YouTube vinyl community on Facebook, you might have seen my my record show haul. Some ridiculously killer stuff. Just insane. Seriously, Sam and I both got a couple of Grails, and that video should be up in a couple of weeks. But. Uh, I gotta get going now. I'm almost at the 10 minute mark. I gotta go film a uh, regular run video and do the radio show. So we'll see you guys later. Take care. See you next time.